would like to welcome the magnificent Will Wood. Can we address the elephant in the building? And by that I mean the infant in the front row. <laughs> How old is that thing? He's two. I'm gonna go to jail for doing my set. Are you kidding me? I was told this had to be clean, television friendly. I didn't know it had to be fit for a baby. <laughs> I've never written anything fit for a baby. I've never, I don't know if I ever was one myself, to be honest. So the notion of doing stand-up for such a diverse crowd <laughs> makes me very, very nervous. But at least my breath smells good. None of you are leaving here going like, oh, it was a good time. The last guy smelled, though. <laughs> so I guess I'll just um, stop buttoning and unbuttoning my shirt. <laughs> Jacket. <clears throat> my friend staged an intervention for my drinking. It was, uh, it was sobering. I had been told before that I had an addictive personality, but I always thought that was just a fun way of saying I was fun to be around. I thought people were saying, Will, you're the life of the party, not Will, parting is ruining your life. <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer, it's sad, what can I say? I try to see the glasses half full, but I'd probably just drink that too. <laughs> Slide me a Genesee Cree mail, and 40 minutes later, I'm in the restroom of a gay bar doing bumps of cocaine off a stranger's house key. He's like, Dustin, I'm telling you, it's always after Labor Day. <laughs> We're smoking pot with a homeless man. <laughs> His weed. I've actually done that. I've smoked a homeless man's marijuana. Yeah. I was grateful. We passed that thing back and forth like it was 1969. Man, we might as well have kissed. It was a good time. I get along really well with the homeless. I do. Which naturally terrifies me. I think the last thing any 22-year-old man wants to hear coming out of his own mouth is, ah, oh, yeah, me and the homeless? Tight. I'm sitting there on a, excuse me? We got a heckler. <laughs> a heckler in the front row. They don't, they, they, they mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you're going, you're going toe to toe with a professional wit here. Think you're gonna come out on top? Uh-uh, I ain't gonna allow it. Your shoes are dumb. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, yeah, the homeless, yeah. Well, um, just, just, the whole, uh, the whole, the, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, but just, I, it's killing me. It's killing me. How am I supposed to focus on entertaining you people when I got children stopping me? How much time do I have left? <laughs> One minute? Thank God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, this, I'll, I'll tell, this is, this, here's a child-friendly thing that I, I did, I had my eyes. Um, uh, so, uh, this one you might be a bit familiar with. You know, nowhere in Humpty Dumpty does it say anything about him being an egg or egg-type creature. Think about it, go the, the whole rhyme in your head doesn't say anything about him being an egg. It's more just the story of a man with an awkward name falling to his death. And all the king's horses and all the king's men were weird and were like, ah, oh, put them back together. 
I think children's book authors, you know, kind of process this and went like, hmm, well, come to think of it, it really is just the macabre tale of a kingdom of horses attempting to reassemble a dead man. Just make him an egg, cuckoo could chew, now it's just a different type of terrifying. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that you were raised being told this story, I don't think it would go over all that well, you know? It's the same thing with Hey Diddle Diddle the Cat and the Fiddle, or or uh, 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 Jack and Jill sustain head injuries, or the Bible. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to end on a nice and edgy note. Edgy note from the man in makeup, telling jokes to a child. <laughs> My name's Will Wood. You have been watching the Comedy Hour, com Common Hour, Kamikaze Hour, co Common, <laughs> co Common, Comic, Comic Chameleon. Um, <laughs> It's been a pleasure. Thank you all very much.